Hello everyone. In this video, I want to get into one of the best AI plugins for Obsidian that I've found. Now there are a number of AI plugins in Obsidian that has been created by the community. So if you go in and you just search, uh, search ChatGPT or maybe even OpenAI might work here. You can see the different ones that are out here and try them out yourself. But one of the best ones so far that I found that I've been playing with is Smart Connections. So I'm gonna go in here, it's already installed. Let's go into the options. And in the OpenAI settings, you will need to supply an API key. Once you have the API key in there, you can test it. It will prompt you if you have any errors or not. You can go ahead and select the, you can select the smart chat model. So basically this is the, just a model where you wanna do either 3.5 or, or version four of GPT. And then you can select the language and some other options in here. Now, this will be a plugin that shows up in the side pane. So you want to come in here and for this display, you can configure the way the different things show up in that side pane. And if you have any error messages that show up where it does go through and it scans through your vault, if you have any issues with certain files, it will show those here and you can retry those failed files from here to see if it will pick up any or um, or fix some of those issues from, from just doing a, a retry and a rescan on those. Now let's go into the plugin itself and let's see how this looks. First off, let me create or at least go ahead and select a file. So we'll go ahead and select this one file here. And if I go into the plugin, we can see up at the top here, we got smart connections files. This is where it goes through your vault and it scans through your files. And this is great because instead of using maybe one of the other options where you go through and you look at your, your different backlinks or your unlinked mentions, this particular plugin goes a bit deeper. So I've gone in and I have selected on the icon for smart connection files. There's two of them, but we'll focus on this one for now. And we can see automatically, and if this is your first time, you will see it generate, this, go through and do the scan and kind of generate this type of information. But I've been using it for a little bit here. So it's already found information within my vault that's relevant to this particular note. This is really fast and this really gives you some good insights without you having to manually do anything to your to your vault or the notes within your vault to make these different notes linked together. It goes through itself and it uses the AI to you know bring up these different references and what the AI think is relevant um, to this, this note within this list. Now, right now, the default setting is to have them all expanded, but you can change this in the setting to where everything is collapsed, or you can just use the arrow there to collapse this information. But you can see this is really good. It did go through and it got a bunch of things that were relevant. You can see I had some other documents that I've either been reading came over through my readwise or that maybe I've created some other notes and that have research in it. So we've selected this file here. Again, if I automatically, when I switch, we can see how the information updates. Let's go back through again. We can see how the side pane updates all the relevant content in it. And just keep going through your files automatically you will start seeing relevant content related to this. This has started to give me insights on different information within my vault that I've actually lost touch with. I forgot I even had it in the vault. And just by click adding this particular plugin into here and then seeing all the stuff that comes up on the side pane here, it's, again, it's really started to reintroduce me to information that's within my vault so I can 
maximize the, the usage of the information within this PKM. Now, if we go into the Smart Connections chat, this is where it will look familiar to most of the other plugins that are out there based on ChatGPT. And it looks just like ChatGPT would. And it has the, 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 the same, you go ahead and you prompt it. So let me go to this file again, you prompt it, and you can tell it to do something like um, summarize this note. And We'll hit send and let's see what it comes back with. Um, so in this case here, it looks like the formatting, forgot to actually put in the formatting that it wants to do. Summarize this note and actually you can just do here. And I'll go ahead and type in the book summary here. And if we go ahead and hit send on this one now, it will go ahead and do it. So in this particular uh, chat window here, it doesn't automatically know that it's on this particular file right here. So you have to give it that link to the actual note that you want it to go through and either summarize, pull in, and then you can start prompting it for more information. Okay, everyone, I like to keep these videos short, so I'm going to wrap it up here. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.